What do you want? To say farewell. We're leaving. Good decision. Better that than buried out there in the black. You've got a lot to thank that girl for, you know. I know. And I will. Now, what do you really want? We both know you don't come here for conversation. It'd better all be here. Off you go, then. I'm best of luck. I should probably say thank you to Gav, too. I'm sure I'll be calling on your help again, if you've a mind to lend it. Make it quick. What do you want? Bad, if I do say so myself. No scratches, right? It'd last you a good while. You can thank me later. work, but it'll do. Anything else? You! Newcomer! I need help. What's the matter? It's my assistant. She left to gather soil, and I've seen nothing of her since. I cannot concentrate one whit for fear of what might have happened. Please, I beg of you, will you go and check? I have to know. Fine. Then trouble me no longer. This is a matter of life and death! You! you What's the matter? It's my... I can't... Please! All right, I'll go. Marvelous. Thank you. You'll be rewarded for your time, of course. Whereabouts is she? Gotan's Bales. It's on the outskirts of Lostwig. Not the safest place for an unaccompanied bearer, perhaps, but the soil there is second to none. Now go, and do not linger. Why, it may already be too late. My assistant should be gathering soil samples near Gotan's Bales. It's just outside Lostwig. But I already told you that. Now go, quickly. My assistant should be gathering soil samples. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild Mickey berries. Your wounds are healed right enough, enough, but... I'd still suggest you rest. Well, ah, if that's what glad to see the colour back in your cheeks. <laughs> That's one less thing to worry about. Ah, oh, glad to see the colour back in your cheeks. Ah, Clive, I trust you're settling in? Gradually getting used to the place. I'm glad to hear it. I was hoping you might be persuaded to come to my aid once more. Your services will be rewarded, of course. I don't doubt it. Seems to be the way around here. We strive to be better than those we once served. Now, as to the task itself, 
I am once again in need of a pair of hands to deliver sustenance to our esteemed companions. I have three meals for three industrious souls. What say you? It is simple work, and you'd be rewarded, of course. But I shan't presume to pressure you. Ah, gradually get. I'm ah. Uh, we now. I. I'd be happy to help. Marvelous. The three individuals you'll be seeking out are busying themselves about the hideaway. You'll find one by the entrance, another in the bunks, and the other guarding the cells. Thank you once again, Clive. We can't let our friends go hungry now, can we? The entrance, the bunks, and the cells, if you please. We can't let our friends go hungry now, can we? Just don't have enough teams to follow every lead. Do with a proper place to train. Can I help you? Kenneth sent me. Ah, wonderful. Do you hear that? Our food has arrived. Does your appetite still elude you? Is he sick? <sighs> I'm afraid so. Those no longer in need of a physica's immediate ministrations are sent here for further rest. I tend to those who cannot tend to themselves, which leaves me very little time for anything else. Happily, Kenneth sees that I stay fed. I would be lost without the kindness of good people like him and yourself. Thank you. Come, you must eat if you're to recover. I hate to be a burden, but thank you. Oh, what I wouldn't give for some wild nickel berries. You should speak to Master Bob. Back so soon? Fancied another kip in the cells, did you? Kenneth sent me. He thought you might be hungry. He wasn't wrong. The way my gut's been growling, I'd have curls running scared. <laughs> Guard duty down here can't be much fun. It's not. But sometimes folk need locking up, and someone has to watch over them. I help people sleep at night, and that's not a boast many can make. You keep yourself on the right side of these bars now, you hear me? Should have seen my face when they brought you down here. Still, glad to see you doing well. Should have seen my face when they brought you down here. Still. Glad to see you doing well. There? Or was it Sid? Fancy a mug of Kenneth's coldness when we're done. Ooh, something smells good. For me, I hope. It is. Courtesy of Kenneth. Oh, my thanks. These birds are needy creatures. They don't like me running off to the fat chocobo behind their backs. <laughs> they must keep you busy. Ah, there's never a moment's rest. Probably for the best I eat down here, reeking of the staples as I do. I'd only put people off their food. And who has time to wash and dress for dinner when they've got little darlings like these to wait upon, eh? Anyway, thanks for the food, and be sure to give Kenneth my regards. I think that's everyone. I better let Kenneth know. Told Kenneth I was hankering after some eggs. Oh, I've been looking forward to these all day.
told Kenneth I was hankering after some eggs. Oh. Ah, you're back. All done? Wonderful. Here, your reward, as promised. The hideaway's quite something. Everyone has their place. A fact we are proud of, believe me. I'm glad you've witnessed it for yourself. You have your place too, of course, as you have just so capably proven. And you will always have a place with us, should you desire it. It's kind of you to say so. It is the truth, and not a soul among us would deny it. I look forward to all that you will bring to our little community. My latest and greatest recipe, my life's work, if you will, is almost complete. And you shall be among the first to savor it. Clive, my latest and greatest recipe. Yes? What? Going purse weighing you down. Someone's in trouble. It would have been worse if you hadn't come along. Wait, uh, I've seen you around the hideaway. You're new, aren't you? I'm Clive. And I'm Martel. But what are you doing here? Looking for you. This is no place for a bearer on her own. I noticed that. But this soil's not going to collect itself. Then what if I gathered it for you? You could head back to the hideaway. Just exactly what sort of dirt is it that you need? What I need is soil. But I'd be a fool to refuse your help after what just happened. It's the good stuff you're looking for. Dark, rich, fragrant. You'll know it when you find it. Dark, rich, and fragrant. Right. Well, you should hurry back. Bohemil seemed worried enough that he might come looking for you himself. That seems unlikely, but I won't argue with you. Thanks. Soil, then. There's certainly enough of it here. But is it dark, rich, and fragrant?
That should be enough. I better get it back to the hideaway. My shield in shining armor. You can give those samples straight to the garden master. He's expecting them. My shield in shining armor. You can give those samples. There you are. And all safe and sound. Well, yes, yeah, she's standing right there. Not the girl. The soil. Did you bring it? Uh, yes. Here. Glorious! When Martel came home empty-handed, I almost had a fit. But with this, with this, my research can continue. First and foremost come the measurements. I must know how much ether each sample contains. From there... Wait, so you were never... Worried about me? Sorry to disappoint you, but the only thing he worries about is his research. But that's... That's all right. It's just how he is. And if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be growing anything in these ruins. It's a small price to pay. Although, you shouldn't have to pay it too. Did he even offer you anything for helping? Ugh. Here. I know it's not much, but it's something, at least. I wish I could offer you some fruit, too, but you're not likely to thank me if I do. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. Come by again when we've grown some fruit worth eating, and I'll see that you get some. Come by again when we've grown some fruit worth eating, and I'll see that you get some. <laughs> Barbamil will not bow to the plight. I'll have you know, mal in the village entry is no small task. There's plenty of unsavoury sorts in these parts looking to get their thieving claws into what's ours. I'll have you know, mal in the village entry is no small task. It's looking to be There's plenty of unsavoury sorts in these parts looking to get their thieving claws. Oh, thirsty work, this. Back, are you? 
did Master Quint in summon you? That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see her? What can I interest you in today? I hope it's to your liking. Ah, yes. I trust it's all here. Ah, yes. I hope it's to your liking. Good day. Sun's setting fast. They'll all... There haven't been any surprises since your last visit. But we all know how fast that can change. There haven't been any surprises since your last visit. So it took a tilt between the Wardens of Light and Dark to finally drive the Royalists from our shores. Pity it came at such a price. They say the fields of Bellinus were black a full fortnight with all the ravens. So it took a tilt between the Wardens of Light and Dark to finally drive the Royalists from our shores. I take it you're not here for a room? Very good, then. If you've something to ask, ask. If that is all... And I have another cup.
Let's make this quick. That tower used to be taller. I reckon they'll be in need of a good mason. Oh, oh, so much for bedding down at the care.
easy. So, what it be? No scratches, all right? Not my best work, but it'll do. You can thank me later. made up, is it? We'll be leaving for Rosaria as soon as we're able. Back down memory lane, eh? Rosaria ain't what she used to be, Clive. Not since the Imperials moved in. First sign of trouble, you make straight for Martha's rest and ask for the landlady. She's a friend of the cause. Tell her you was Sid, and she'll help you out. Understood. Thank you, Gav. Yeah. I'd be lost without you. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. No need to make such a fuss. You take care, all right? Oh, I'm crap at goodbyes. Where's Sid when you need him? Give him my regards when he gets back. I will. Sorry to keep you waiting. Ready, my lady? Ready.
Rosaria. It's been 13 years. But this breeze, the smell of the grass, it's just as I remember it. You haven't been back either. I couldn't. Brand did keep a close watch on each other in the Imperial Army. You get beheaded just for knowing a deserter. The only way out was on a mission. I see. But mostly I was afraid. Afraid to go back. I know. But I'm here now. Thanks to you. We should press on. That inn at the top of the hill must be Martha's Rest. Gav said the landlady's a friend. But can we say the same for her patrons? Imperials don't tend to take well to those with my mark. If anyone asks, I'm a branded soldier, sworn to protect my noble mistress. Look at the fuse on this one. Explains why there's a premium on tools.
finished building the bridge then. After what happened at Phoenix Gate, it didn't seem the highest priority. Stop and give me an hand. Here, you couldn't give me an hand, could you? Typical. A bloody bearer. Just when I thought my luck had changed. Still, better a crumb of crystal than an empty hand, I suppose. Though it pains me to use another man's branded. Here, you understand me, don't you? I need your help. These blasted birds must have caught away from my cargo, and now they've got me surrounded. It was really late as it was. I've got something special needs delivering before the rest, but I dare not leave my cart untended. You couldn't run it up to Martha's rest for me, could you? Needs to get there a quick mind. Only take orders from your master, do you? Fair enough.
Here! You could... Step in, I'm going... You could... Fine. That's the spirit. All right. Here. You hand that to the stable master and no one else. I'm owed a little something for it. If he gives it to you, pass it along to your master by way of thanks. Be off with you then. And don't go taking any detours on the way. You and that package I gave you to the stable master at Martha's Rest. And be sure to thank your owner for me. You and that package I gave you to the stable master at Martha's Rest. And be sure to thank your owner for me.
we are. Martha's rest. Throw your weapons down if you want to live. 